armored horses fiercely galloping into battle, a sound that both exhilarates and frightens. For over a millennium in Japan, the power is undeniable. Atop the horse is the determined samurai warrior in medieval armor intent to show supreme horse riding skills. This event has been running continuously since 1323, at this very spot, and the last of its kind. So here we are in Soma, Fukushima, where for centuries the skill of military horseback riding and martial arts have been practiced to this day. For this day, for generations, 34 of them, riders from the Soma family have been coming here for a tradition. This is unfiltered Japanese culture, where heritage and tradition meet. This is where Japan came from. In this episode, I will take you through the most hardcore samurai festival remaining in Japan. It will excite you. Take your breath away. Get ready to enter the Soma no Maoi. Giddy up. We'll be back in the thick of battle soon. Horses exploding down in a wild race. It's a three-day festival. The tradition started by Taira no Masakado, one of the earliest known samurai in the 10th century. The tradition moved to Soma in 1323, 700 years ago, where it's been held at the same spot ever since. Where is Soma and Haranomachi? It's about three hours north of Tokyo, or an hour south of Sendai, on the Joban Line in Fukushima Prefecture, on the coast. Minami Soma was hard hit during the 2011 Great Tohoku Earthquake and Tsunami. The sacred event grounds are here. Again, they've been holding the event at this very same spot since 1323. This is the procession entering Hibarigahara grounds, the event always taking place on the final Saturday, Sunday, and Monday of July. About 400 people with katana, armor, and their clan's flag and symbol, a scene right out of the history book of the Sengoku period. This is Izumi Kawasan. He has participated in this event for decades, and now, on the 700th anniversary of the event, he's ready with his infamous samurai battle stare. We'll be talking with him later about why this event continues beyond the age of the samurai. This hill is where the champions climb after winning each race, the crowd cheering them on, a tradition dating back to its origin. It's important to understand that this is not just a festival. There is a deep spiritual meaning to the participants. The priests from Nakamura Shrine, the Soma family's guardian deity, share the competitive spirit of the event by running the Omikoshi Portable Shrine to the top, where it'll stay for the event. They made it in 1 minute 9 seconds. Most impressive. It's hot out here, 36 degrees Celsius, 97 Fahrenheit. The crowd grows as the 1 p.m. race time nears. The participants all arrive, filter to a corner of the event grounds for the opening ceremony with prayer. Arriving at the end is the grandson of the 33rd generation of Soma family, Toshitane, who presides over the Soma no Mo'oi. Toshitane will become the 35th Soma generation in the future. The Kachukeba, armored samurai horse racing, is on. There are six races over the hour, each one extremely competitive, racing both for themselves and the clan they represent the clan's flag attached to their back, waving in the wind. It's a scene you'd see in battle as samurai attack their enemy with uncompromising ferociousness. Winners claim a prize at the top of the hill. The horses move fast. It's hard not to be in awe as they pass by so close.
The loop around seems to be over a kilometer. The riders disappear around the curves and reappear as the race ends. The sweet taste of victory, easy to read on the winners' faces. Participants receive a ticket where they exchange it for a prize. Champions run to the top with applause. The Shinkin Sodatsusen is a battle royale which pits everyone against each other to capture two launched flags each cycle. It requires excellent horsemanship and perhaps some luck. I spoke with Hirata-san, who is the committee chairman, about how the flag capture event started. The Meiji government took away all the wild horses in Soma's open fields, so capturing horses for samurai military training was no longer possible. で、the flags launch contained three flags from the three shrines in the area, a red, blue, and yellow one. Now let's watch the event. The flags are launched like mortar shells going quite high above the grounds. The battles inside the zone can be fierce. No one wants to lose. Competitors' mindsets are to be victorious. A winner emerges from the crowd. They take the flag to the hilltop to claim their prize. Sometimes, battles can become quite contentious. Losers are motivated to train harder for the next year, and winners are motivated to win again. Yeah, so watching them here atop the horses, I know how hot they are, and it is really hard to stay focused on the race with all that sweat. I know how they feel because a week before the event, in the summer heat, I put on local samurai armor. It requires a lot of steps. The skills pass down from senior members every year. So you can definitely feel the weight of the armor. Uh, I was told it was about 15 kilograms or something like 26, 27 pounds, which after a couple of hours, you probably are going to feel. But what strikes me most about wearing the armor is uh, not the weight of it, but the flexibility that I have. I thought it would be a little bit more restrictive, but now we have an idea of what they feel like we're on, they're on top of the horse doing all of these uh, maneuvers, showing off their skills. This is made of iron right here, and this is a kind of cloth. It depends on what they had available at the time, but obviously I feel very well protected, especially with the helmet. People are gonna know that I'm coming and that I mean business. Make sure you watch where you step. Dressing in armor is empowering. I can feel it. Let's catch up with Izumi Kawasan two weeks before the event, where he's giving a training session to younger participants. 
This local event promotes the love of horses, giving kids their first ride and a chance to get more interested in their local festival, local traditions. Family members of participants, male and females, have great interest in learning more at these sessions. At this year's Capture the Flag, a 19-year-old girl won one of the flags. The event has evolved over time to survive. Girls until the age of 19 can compete here. Of course, even this rule could change over time, which is how the event has continued non-stop since 1323. I visited the Minami Soma City Museum to learn more about the background of this event. It was held for military training in the Sengoku period. Then, to keep it alive, when Tokugawa unified the country as shogun in 1603, battle training was not necessary so the event was held to preserve the ways of Bushido, samurai values. When the Meiji period began in 1868, the samurai were no longer needed. The event stressed the importances of Shintoism, the spiritual aspect. In 1978, Soma no Maui was awarded the National Intangible Cultural Heritage designation, protecting it for good. As the population declines here, both men and women make an impact on this event, and there's no doubt the event will continue to evolve, honoring those who came before, the samurai values that give the region its strong identity today, connecting the people of Soma together to their past and the path forward to the future. で、the spiritual part of the event is its core, and learning all the skills needed, like how to saddle a horse like an ancient samurai, is not easy. The steps need to be mastered, and part of Izumi Kawasan's responsibilities as a local leader is to pass those skills on the same way they did it 700 years ago. This is what makes the event so authentic. The chain has not been broken for 33 generations. Today, a resident of the area is learning to dress for the event. He married into a local family and wants to be a part of the tradition like his wife's family has for generations. Learning about all the pieces needed and the ways to tie it on requires a lot of practice. The holder on the back for the clan's flag, soldered to the armor. The day is a typical Japanese summer afternoon. Even in the shade, you can't evade the humidity. It's all tied down with cloth to keep it from moving too much atop a galloping horse. The sword. Every samurai has two. On horse, the short wakizashi and longer tachi, pointing up away from the horse. Finally, the kabuto, or helmet. It must be tied firmly to the head so it doesn't move when riding fast. With the armor on perfectly, it's time to mount the horse. The practice horse. Izumi Kawasan gives instructions, mounting the horse like samurai did centuries ago, not easy with a sword and flag. There are special ways for the ropes to be tied and used to control the horse. 
Experience is needed before any race. It can be quite dangerous for inexperienced riders to compete. It's exhausting but essential training and to do it in the summer heat. The details are quite important. After a few years, it becomes a habit, then an instinct. The session was a big success, and we got roped into a group photo. Now we're a part of the local history. I visited Izumi Kawasan's home to learn his experience as an elder, passing this knowledge down and keeping it alive. Watching over us are his ancestors. The teaching on this day didn't end as I learned how to wield a katana. ごさいから。ごさい。当時昭和30年なんですけども、この野間追いっていうのはこの地域にとってはやっぱりあの夏になくてはならないお祭りっていうか文化だったので、もう地域一帯がやっぱもう野間追いでこう盛り上がる。実
One of the stories I learned at the museum about how hardcore this region is for this event is pretty remarkable. The Soma toughness shows in each generation. 1945年に日本って空襲があったんですよね。その時もやってますからね。だからその日の朝に米軍機が来ますよって警報が<笑> アラームが鳴ってるのにあの、アラーム、アラーム止んだからやろうぜって言って。え、戦争も戦争もあるけど続けました。うん。すごいね。あれはもう完全になんだろう、もう好き。うん、基本的に野馬をね、出てる人たち
connecting the earliest samurai to the present day. And anyone can come, watch, celebrate, and witness the heart of a samurai. You just need to get on a train and make it to Harunomachi Station in Soma, Fukushima. Mata ne.